Since we actually have a cold day here in California, we're going to take that opportunity on this week's Tech Tuesday to show you the menu called Crankin' Warm Up in Phytech Tuning. The main factor that determines the amount of fuel needed to start an engine is temperature. A cold engine requires much more fuel to get the engine started than one that is warm. With a throttle body EFI style system, fuel must travel through the intake runner down into the cylinder. The intake runner walls are completely dry, so on initial cranking of the engine, most of the fuel being injected sticks to the intake runner walls and does not make it to the engine initially. Depending on the intake design and the size of the motor, more or less fuel will also be required to get the engine running. Be sure that you've completed the initial setup and the idle setup before we move to the crank and warm up settings. Cranking and starting the engine is broken down into four groups. Prime fuel multiplier, cranking fuel, after start, and warm up fuel. The prime fuel multiplier is the first shot of fuel that gets injected to the engine when you first key on. We do this so we can load the intake manifold with a little bit of fuel to help for a faster start. If you increase this value, it gives more fuel on the initial shot. If you lower the value, it gives less fuel for the initial shot. After prime fuel, our next adjustment is cranking fuel. Cranking fuel is broken down into three temperatures. We have 20 degrees, 65 degrees, and 170 degrees. We do this so you have a finer adjustment at the temperature that you're trying to start the engine. With these values, if you increase the number, you're giving more fuel during cranking. If you lower the value, you're giving less fuel. These values you generally want to use increments of 10 at a time to do your adjustments. You can go positive 10 for more fuel, negative 10 for less fuel. Everything starts out at zero. Following cranking, we have after start. After start is the transition between cranking and idling. It is also broken down in the same three temperature ranges as cranking fuel. The purpose of this setting is to get additional fuel into the intake manifold so we can promote a fuel film to run through the intake. Now that we have the engine running, we move on to warm up fuel. Warm up fuel is also broken down by the same temperature ranges and is used to get the engine up to temperature much like the choke feature on a carburetor. The last adjustment in the crank and warm up menu is crank IAC. IAC stands for idle air control. This is a controlled air bleed that allows more or less air into the engine. During cranking, we use it to allow more or less air to help get the engine started. If you increase the value, you're letting more air into the engine when you crank. If you increase this value too high, the engine will start and go to a high idle before it comes down to its resting idle. With a little patience on the crank and warm up menu, you can expect starting the engine in cold weather much like this. Okay, let's recap. Now if you're trying to get your engine to start and it's not even firing off on initial crank, you may want to increase your prime shot multiplier. But if your engine's firing and immediately dying, you may consider increasing your cranking fuel a little bit. Now, lastly, if you're cranking the engine and it fires off and starts fine, but then peters off and stalls, you may consider increasing your crank IAC or even increase your after start enrichment. I hope these answer all of your questions, but if you have more, please comment them below. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday.